Hi everybody, I thought I would, in this video, paint some of my miniature sunflowers from this miniature DIY concertina sketchbook. Let's go! Okay guys, so I'm having lots of fun with these concertina sketchbooks for my food art collection and painting them is even more fun. So I'm going in with my yellow ne neo color just for standard yellow and i'm using my aqua elite paintbrush i'm just going to start going in with the bright yellow i didn't know that, well i mean i did know there were lots of varieties of sunflowers I, when i used to live in the united kingdom i grew about four different varieties of sunflowers and I would collect the seeds and dry them and use those seeds for next year's planting and I did quite well with them but then my allergies have started and I can't do that at all now <laughs> way too allergic to everything outside but the sunflowers I used to grow were dark red the regular yellow and then the ones that look like marigolds, they're kind of orangey yellow. I think you can even get black sunflowers now, but I never grew those. So now I'm going in with the light orange. And they're such happy flowers, aren't they? I'm really enjoying doing my food collection and basically I know this isn't food as such but as my collection progresses you will see that everything plays its part and without farmers and without the bees, there would be no us. The bees pollinate and the farmers do all of the growing of our food. I think that the farmers do need to be respected a lot more than they are. going in with this light yellow green I think it is yes it is the yellow green And then I'm going to use a tundra brown and start doing the middle 
because the middle is always the darkest. And then just picking up some Payne's Grey and dropping that directly into the middle. And then I might just pick up some of this Colbert Blue just for a bit of a background. So my background is a little um, coloured so you can see it's not white looks like there's a storm brewing in a way now I've added the blue which is fun because the fountain pen I used has semi-permanent water-based ink that's black because I mixed the um, aubergine um, ink by Roha Klinger which is water resistant so the black they're still more black, as I've said in recent videos. So it still smudges a bit, but it gives that purple effect, which is fun, because I sketch in a watercolour pencil. So in order to erase that, I do water, which can activate some of the ink from the pen. So it adds to my effect, I find. And I just love the springy effect of these concertinas and on this you can see again the masking tape painters tape whatever and that is keeping because there's one two three four little um panels so it's basically eight um you know two lots of eight but you've got double sided here And I think, because this is Canson Sea Grain paper, but I have a, a pack of it. But I think it was slightly bigger than A4. I don't, it wasn't A3, because it, it's made such small um, pieces. So, because you lose, as I've said, two sizes of paper when you make these concertina sketchbooks. So I'm going to go in again. Now that that layer has set, or well dried, not set. And going back in with the lemon yellow. Remember, these are just, they're not like finished pieces. These are like more the rough sketches that will be on display um, when my collection is complete. So then I'm going to get my regular brown. And just go around the edges. I think it's about six or seven centimetres across the size of this that I'm doing. It's really quite quite small, but I prefer doing small work really. Not miniature as such, that's too tiny. But this, um, I think is quite good. It's more effective and gives a different outlook I find different way of displaying your work to do different sizes on different materials and I am going to be venturing into doing panels which I'm quite excited about going to be getting the odd one or two from Claire Fontaine they are painters panels apparently the bulbs that they're probably hardboard with a canvas cover glued to the front. And I'm going to see how good the texture is as to whether my Neo colours will work on them or whether I only can use gouache. I'm not keen on acrylic. 
uh, probably the only way I would be keen with acrylic is using the matte liquid one because I don't like how sticky when it's dry the plastic kind of thing it all sticks together and it's just not nice for me that's the effect right? that puts me off using go um <laughs> acrylic not gouache so now i'm just going to use a darker orange and go down the uh, little lines here Just spreading that out a bit. It's not going to be perfect. It won't, but I didn't want it just that bit. So when it is dry, I will then do another layer. Just get a tissue to. Do is a little drier for my brush. Going back with the yellow. I have to say this sea grain paper is really good. It is obviously meant for your drawing, ink and sketching. It's not going to uh, take acrylic. It will take light gouache, very light. And then like dark olive, just over there. I think that's where I'm going to leave that one. And then this one is pointing kind of, I've done different angles. So this is kind of pointing um, up to the sky. So I thought that I would probably directly go in with this, with the crayon. some of this light green like that and then go in with the yellow like all over it and then go in with again I'm not going to do 
spend as much time as I did on the first one. I have covered all of that and I have then going to just add water a little. We don't want to soak everywhere and just blend that out the greeny bits here because quite often you've got a lot of sunflowers growing all together so then I've got the ochre in the middle, we'll pick it up directly here and there and here the yellow again Then going for the emerald green. Actually, I don't think it is emerald green, it's brilliant green. Just okay, green. so I have covered all of that and I have then going to just add water a little. We don't want to soak everywhere and just blend that out the greeny bits here because quite often you've got a lot of sunflowers growing all together so then I've got ochre in the middle, we'll pick it up directly here and there Hi guys! I'm really sorry but my video stopped recording I was interrupted halfway through and I thought I'd press record again and I haven't so after we did the first one and the second and the third, we then went on lastly and did this. And it's the pathway with some different coloured sunflowers. And I was saying how these are sketches. So I'm not going to be doing full you know depth lots of different lots of tones and shading and all the rest of that so this is what we did and it's canson sea grain paper and it hasn't buckled it's holding up really really nicely and i hope that if you've enjoyed this video you'll give me the thumbs up and promote my video leave me a comment and I'll catch you on the next video guys